Hi everyone. In this uh, video, I wanted to share that I've added this uh, audio visualization um, feature to my time exposure uh, application with the OpenCV time exposure. This audio processing is uh, being done with the, um, using the Juice uh, framework version 6.07. So I have um, a Juice uh, framework for audio and OpenCV for video. In the application, what I'm showing is the uh, audio signal, the raw audio signal. Uh, there's 512 samples in each block that is being displayed here. And then the, in the middle, uh, I'm plotting the FFT, and then the FFT is flowing into this spectrogram that is uh, flowing down to the bottom. I added uh, this checkbox so that I can turn on the audio spectrogram, uh, although the this is just uh, affects the visualization, this checkbox, uh, the audio work is, audio data is still being processed. I'm not, um, I'm processing it in the back. So the load on the program and the, on the system is, is still the same, except the minus the visualization effort. So if I turn the checkbox on, uh, audio comes back on on the left. And if I click this stereo button, I can see both channels. Uh, now in this version, I'm, I'm collecting data using uh, uh, juice uh, audio source that uh, is managed by the juice audio device manager and it's uh, collecting data from the um, capturing data from the uh, microphone i'm not combining or averaging the two channels i'm keeping them separate so i'm doing double the work uh, i want to create some extra work for the cpu just to see how much load it can handle um, and whether it can keep up with this audio and still maintain my 10 frames per second target for my video. It looks like it can. And um, so if I just want to see ch the uh, channel zero of the audio, I can just uh, uncheck this uh, stereo checkbox. Or, and if I just want to go back to video, I just turn that checkbox on. So these are um, these are some of the new updates to this sample application. But the point uh, I wanted to make here in this video is that it is running on my Jetson Nano. Uh, this is my Model A02. Uh, I also have a Model B01 that can handle the same application. Uh, this is running on the latest uh, Linux for um, Tegra, release 32.5.1. And um, it's running the latest jetpack that corresponds to that. Um, it seems like it can handle the work and it's uh, now, I just wanted to demonstrate that it is uh, running on a different platform. The Jetson Nano is not listed as a supported platform on the Juice Framework uh, website, but it is a ARM 64-bit uh, uh, platform and it has Ubuntu running on it. So I figured I'd try it and it seems like it's working just fine. And uh, so, uh, it now I have it running on the Raspberry Pi 4, the Jetson Nano, and all the three OSs that are on the desktops, the Mac, Windows, and Linux. I hope this information was useful again, and I uh, hope to see you in, an, in another video.